Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi, and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to create a catch light in your subject's eyes when they seem to be missing them. And the best part about it is we're going to do it right here in Lightroom. We're not even going to touch Photoshop, and uh, you're going to see just how easy it is. Now in this first tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to create a flash catch light, meaning a catch light coming from a flash as a light source. A flash without any modifiers, mind you, so it's going to be a hard flash. Now let's look at what this looks like. I have an image right here. This was lit in the back with a flash as a backlight and coming through as a flare, and the front has a flash as well that's going right into the side of her face. And it's a hard light, there's no modifiers on it, so it's just going directly into her eyes. And you can see that this flash creates a very hard, pinpoint-like uh, catch light in her eye. You notice that there really isn't any feathering, uh, it's just a very pure white uh, catch light and that's because the flash is a very small light source putting out a really large amount of light. So it's putting out a really heavy light and that's what gives it that pure white with no feather look. So let's go back to our image and recreate this. Whoops, let me zoom out. All right. Now the first thing I'm going to do is let's maximize our space here. Let's hit F twice and then F5, 6, and 7. And let's go right to our adjustment brush. And the first thing I'm going to do is, we've already taught this before, but I do want to do this to this image before we uh, get started. I just want to enhance the eyes a little bit, brighten them up, so we're not dealing with these kind of dark gray eyes. So I have this enhancing brush selected. It's my eye enhancing brush. We created this previously in the uh, in the uh, touch-up tutorial. So if you guys have any questions on this, just check that out. I'm going to go through it briefly just because uh, we've already kind of covered this stuff. So just real quick, what I'm doing is just drawing it over the eye, and I'm going to hold Alt and subtract it out of the edges. So I'm not covering any of the eye that I don't want to be brightened and have added contrast to. So same thing on this side. I'm just going to kind of subtract it out of this skin area. I don't want it in the corner of the eye. Uh, and then we're going to go right over the eyelids a little bit so we don't cover that area as well. All right, that looks like it should be okay. Um, let's hit O again so that we remove our overlay. And now we're going to increase the exposure a little bit and then increase the contrast to kind of darken it up and add back the uh, missing contrast from when we increase the exposure. Let's go up to 90 and let's zoom out. At this point, you really need to zoom out and look at it uh, zoomed out to make sure it's not too powerful. It might be a little bit on the bright side, so I'm just going to lower it to 0 0.32 and I'm going to hit, uh, whoops, not O, I'm going to hit K to remove my brush and that looks great right there. So let's save this as a snapshot and this is going to be our just our, whoops, not a new develop preset, as a snapshot. This is going to be our eye enhanced no catch light. And really this is just for a reference point. It's just to show us what the eyes look like without the catch light so we can kind of compare the before and after. So let's close out this left panel and now we're going to zoom in and we're actually going to add the catch light. Now one quick thing, let me zoom back out, one quick thing to note is that to make a really convincing catch light you need to match the catch light to the type of light source that is lighting your subject. Now in this photo we have kind of a soft reflector light coming off the left side but we're going to add a hard reflector flash. I wouldn't typically do this but what I want is for you guys to be able to have a single image with different types of uh, catch lights to be able to compare back and forth. So for the purpose of the tutorial it'll work but just know that uh, you should be using this technique on images that actually have flash lighting. Okay. All right, so let's zoom into our eyes and we are going to create a new brush. We're going to hit K. And uh, like we talked about, flash catch lights are our catch lights are very harsh. They're very hard white lights and they're very small, kind of like little pinpricks. So there's not much feathering to them, which means we're going to increase our contrast a little bit. Um, it's kind of constant throughout. I don't want really too much clarity or sharpening because I don't want any detail in there. Um, so just to ensure that there's no detail, I'm going to reduce that a little bit. And then I'm going to keep the size small and then I'm going to reduce my feathering because again, there's no feathered edges on these types of, uh, on these types of lights. They're, they're very hard edges. Uh, so let's, let's go up to about 60 actually. And then we'll save this as a new custom brush. We're going to save as flash catch light brush. And all we're going to do is we're going to match the direction of the light source. So we saw that the light source is coming from the left, slightly top down, because we see the shadow underneath the lips, underneath the nose, and kind of falling off towards the right side. So the catch light is going to be in the top left of the iris of each eye. So we're going to put it right here, and then one right here and around the same spot on the right eye. All right, we're going to hit K again to remove our brush. I'm going to zoom out, and let's check out what it looks like looks pretty awesome. It's a very convincing flash, light, uh, flash catch light. If we zoom in, you can see that there is a little bit of feathering on there, which 
you know, if you wanted to, you can remove the uh, feathering just a little bit more to make it a little bit harder of an edge. And then, uh, but that's great as it is. It's pretty convincing. So let's save it as a new snapshot. This is going to be our flash catch light. And let's compare the before and after. So here we have our eye enhanced without the catch light and our flash catch light image. So let's go on to the next tutorial where I teach you guys how to create a reflector catch light.